G'day mate, 40 here. Smoking crack is bad. Don't smoke crack, kids. Selling crack is really bad. But even when it comes to crack dealers, they're like gradations. Like there are some crack dealers who don't sell to kids. There are others who only sell a quality product. There are certain crack dealers who take care to only include the proper amounts of fentanyl, not the fatal amounts. And there are some crack dealers who give you a money back satisfaction guaranteed deal on your crack. Now, it's always bad to sell crack and it's always bad to smoke crack. But there are, there are, you know, solid crackers out there. Always bad, but solid. Anyway, 2024 Patriots is shaping up to be the most important election ever in all of human history and I hope that you're standing with Donald J. Trump against the satanic Democrat pedophiles who want to put him in prison. So here's how I think I differ from most dissident uh, right streamers. Right, uh, The election doesn't matter that much whether it's in 2024, 2026, 2028, 2030. That matters somewhere between not at all to mildly to moderately but overall I've lived in the United States since 1977 and if I didn't care about politics like my life would be essentially unchanged no matter who would have won any of the presidential elections in my lifetime like your life is not going to change your real life whether Joe Biden is president or Donald Trump right it will change like less than five percent So, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, but guess what? If the Dallas Cowboys don't make the playoffs next year, my life isn't really going to change. And it's not going to have you know, bigger significance whether the Dallas Cowboys or the San Francisco 49ers or the Kansas City Chiefs win the Super Bowl. So, so too with politics. How on earth could I say that? Well, there's just so many variables out there. There are so many different permutations. There are so many different situations. There are so many different things that could happen. There's just so much that any of us could possibly understand right? that uh, the world out there is a big, confusing, complicated, constantly changing place. Politics is an indication of the state of the world. Sure, but you're only seeing shadows on the cave, right? There's always so much more going on that we can possibly comprehend. So it's good to fight to make a better world. It's good to fight to make a better community. You know, moderate appropriate levels of political activism are good things. You know, donate money, donate time, uh, get involved if you're passionate about it, but don't, don't overstate the, the effect that it will have, all right? Uh, Donald J. Trump, for example, I was incredibly excited about him winning the presidency, but I knew that we were voting for a deeply flawed man. I didn't expect him to enact all of his agenda. I thought he would make progress on some of the things that he stood for, and that's what he did. He made progress on some of the things that he stood for. Uh, Donald J. Trump is terrible at running things, right? He has no successful track record in presiding over things. So yeah, definitely, you know, would vote all over again for Trump in 2016 and 2020. But we can be honest at the same time, he's terrible at running things, he's a deeply forward human being. And if Hillary Clinton had won in 2016, all right, or if Donald Trump had won in 2020, yeah, it might make a mild to moderate difference in our life, right? Maybe up to 5% of our life would be, would be different for, for most people. I, I'm sure there are, there are some exceptions. So if Hillary Clinton would have been a reckless warmonger and you would have been called overseas to serve your country and you'd gotten killed, then yeah, it would make a big difference that you know, Donald J. Trump didn't get us into any new wars. But for most people, it only matters mildly to moderately. So not a good idea to place you know, too much emotion, importance on things that we can't affect. It's a good idea to keep things in perspective. You know, to recognize that there are so many permutations and complications that uh, even though I would always vote Republican, right? I'm a red dog Republican. 
I, don't, I can never picture myself voting uh, for the Democrats. But I recognize that I just have a right-wing orientation. This is an adaptive strategy by you know, many of my ancestors. I assume this is largely genetic and that we all you know, have genetic predispositions towards what is now a right or a left-wing orientation to politics. From Bloomberg on NPR layoffs, 2% taxpayer support, 98% from media. NPR diversity chief is getting complaints that the people are getting laid off. So yeah, for example, civil rights legislation has had a really negative effect on America and it's had a positive effect on America. To me, overall, it's had more of a negative effect than a positive effect, right? But uh, adjust the angle higher, 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 right? We've destroyed freedom of association. We, we've destroyed freedom in this country. Uh-oh, video, police at work, getting citizens here, police restraining people out there. Oh, we want to be at eye level. Art Bell, you are the king, man. You are the producer of this show. So, you know, I like uh, tax rates, for example, that incentivize good behavior. I like government policy that incentivizes good behavior and punishes bad behavior. So I, I think that government policy and government legislation can, can make a difference, that uh, if we reduce the incentives to gratuitously sue each other, uh, we'll have a better world. If we stop you know, forcing banks to open up branches in places that are not you know, economic for them to do so, if we stop forcing banks to you know, lend money to favored minorities who are unlikely to pay the money back, we can have a much more stable financial system. We wouldn't have the 2008 you know, worldwide global financial crisis if we had not forced banks through the 1977 Community Reinvestment Act to you know, extend loans to sacred minority groups who are less likely to pay them back. So yeah, it can make a difference. with. Without that 1977 Community Reinvestment Act, we wouldn't have had the 2008 global financial crash, which significantly affected hundreds of millions of lives. So, yeah, politics matters sometimes you know, fairly intensely, but for most of us, most of the time, it only matters mildly. Luke's been to the park for five hours. Oh, this is a, a great type of park, man. You, you meet many interesting people doing very interesting deals. I'm just here as an ethnographer, bro. Just, a, just an observer. I'm not a participant in any shady business. No shady business, mate.